What's up? This is Nico from Suicidal Tendencies. You're listening to... I forgot Max, the radio. Maximum Threshold. <laughs> Maximum Threshold Radio. Automatic defense procedures initiated. What we've got here is... Maximum voltage. Maximum power. Maximum carnage. This is Maximum Threshold. Call the show at... 440-709-4977. Maximum Threshold. And here's your hosts, Dom. And Charles Michael. He's actually quite smart. He just makes errors of judgment along the way. Ooh, it just like shut off, didn't it? <clears throat> yeah, this is Max on Threshold Radio Show. I think this is episode 384. I'm about to check it out and find out for you. But I think it is. Got some cool stuff lined up for you. I got um the news of the day going on. Oh, it's episode 383. So, there. At least now you know. You're filled in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was thinking about doing like an old interview for you. I figured you guys would like that. So I'll maybe bust one of them out here in a little bit. But I'm going to knock out this. I got this music news I want to get out of here first so we can line this other stuff. And I got some, some new music for you and some exclusive stuff for you. So here we go. Here's the music news. We'll be back after this here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. A live video of The Plot and You playing their new track, Crows, at the new Brooklyn Tavern in West Columbia, South Carolina, on October the 16th is now on YouTube, so you can go there and check out their new track. Structures are going on an indefinite hiatus and will head out on a farewell tour. Their ex-vocalist Nick will also be on the tour. Also on the bill are Obey the Brave, Exalt, and Villains. Structures stated, We are saddened to announce that Structures will be going on an indefinite hiatus come 2015. There is not an easy de- this was not an easy decision, considering how much we put into this band since its inception in 2009. However, we all feel that a healthy break is necessary for each of us for various personal reasons. We are all on good terms and have made this decision collectively. And Issues have released the track listing for their new acoustic EP called Diamond Dreams. Some of the songs are Hooligans, Disappear, Princeton Ave, and Tears, among others. And Down have filmed a video for their track Conjure. The video release date is pending. However, you can check out some photos of their offic- on their official website at down-nola.com. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, Slipknot vocalist Corey Taylor and Clown, uh, they were recent, uh, they had a recent interview with RollingStone.com about their new album, 0.5 The Grey Chapter. Clown stated that the album's track, X1X or 19, made him cry. He stated, I don't usually let people see me cry, it's too hard, but when I heard what Corey Taylor sang on that song, X1X, I cried and cried and cried it hurts so bad check out the interview uh, at rollingstone.com and rings of saturn are streaming their new album lugal Kion for a, a limited time on youtube you can check that out and attica 7 have released a lyric video for their new track darkest day on youtube the song is the first off their new upcoming album due out mid 2015 and finally, Northlane are going to let you hear their new vocalist soon, The Unknown Vocalist. The band will, uh, re- they are recording a new track titled Rot with producer Will Putney. Stay tuned for any new information. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in. Can get, yeah. We've done that like an episode two. <laughs> Let's hold our breath contest. Okay, I can I can do it again. <laughs> Go ahead, you can keep going. Yeah. Looking for old chicks. It was a Didn't whore. you used to call them dames back then? No, we called them whores. Maximum <laughs> threshold. My personal self of having you on the show here. Well, you got great taste. <laughs> I sure I sure I sure tried. <laughs> <laughs>
Is that better? I could hear you too, Rick. So let's just you and I talk. <laughs> drop the whole time. There you go. We'll just call it at you guys. Grabbed the guitar, so he let it go, and as soon as he let it go, a kid came up on stage, and Dave hit him in the head just like a golf ball. You just hope you get some of the moments for yourself, too. Yeah, I think he was practicing Hen- Hendrix too much. I called! Look at that, Dave. Dan's good at leaking. Anal, anal leakage. You're the one with the moves, man. I always say, beef slab, I'm fat. Yeah, more like, hairs, man. Like They're breaking popping on your head. It's like breaking this microphone. Holy shit. That's what I first had done. It was going to take the ball. I thought it was going to hurt like hell. I was going to have him come down here and wrap around my leg. No, no, no. When he got down here, I was telling him, I thought this guy, man, you better stop right now. And then so, uh, he goes, oh, no, I go. I continue. I finish. I said, no, motherfucker, you finish me now. Motherfucker, <laughs> I'll finish you. <laughs> We'll be right back right after this short break here on Max and Thrush Radio. Horns up, fist in there, bitches. Everybody knows that tattoos are all the rage, and you want to be cool and get a tattoo. But you're not really cool until you got the gear, too. So the newest gear, the coolest gear, the hottest gear is United Tattoo Brotherhood. Because only people... The coolest cats got them? No. Only people with tattoos accept everybody. Not everybody accepts everybody with tattoos. And it is a brotherhood. Yes, it is. It's, we're, we're all family. And these are available only at utb13.com or at Gen X in Willoughby, Ohio. And you go on there, you can get hoodies, t shirts, women's shirts, and soon you'll be able to get some hats. Sweet. And uh, they're a new sponsor of ours. And check it out. I think they really do it. UTB13.com. Those are the letters. UTB13.com. It's a United Tattoo Brotherhood. Yes. Join the family. Miss the live show? Go to StitcherRadio.com and search Maximum Threshold and listen in today. That's Maximum Threshold and Stitcher Radio. A match made in heaven. Wondering how you're hearing Maximum Threshold right now? The online 24-7 player. You listen to it live and it's streamed and it's fueled by JWN Media. Once again, it's JWN Media. Check them out if you're looking. JWN Media has reasonable prices for shoutcast feeds. So if you have yourself a a show and you want to get on the air, you can do so. If you have your music, you want to play it on your website 24-7, you can do that at JWN Media. They'll take care of all your online needs. Once again, it's JWNmedia.com. Tell me you heard about this through MaximumThreshold.net. Maximum Threshold Radio live every Saturday night exclusively here at MaximumThreshold.net. And if you're not listening to it live, you're listening to one of our fine affiliates. Thanks for listening to Maximum Threshold Radio Show and the Maximum Threshold Radio Network. Have a smartphone, iPod, iPad, or even Roku? Grab the app, tune in, and search Maximum Threshold and hear the show live directly from your device. Hey, this is Dominic. And whenever I'm strumming my guitar, I'm looking for that sensational sound. It only works the best with SIT strings. Let's get at his SIT strings. Check them out at SITstrings.com. And if you're a guitarist, you definitely want to get these on your axe because they'll never, ever let you down. Want to text the show? You can text 24 hours a day. Just send a message from your phone at 440-520-1956. Once again, the text number, the show is 440 440- 
520-1956. Text the show now. Phone lines are open. Call now, 440-709-4977. Once again, that number is 440-709-4977. like to inform you, your beauty's only skin deep, unless your dog's ugly and then you're nasty from the inside out. Well, listen to Max and Threshold Radio. Hello. Are we back? <clears throat> Yeah, I want to thank everybody again for tuning in and listening to the Maximum Threshold Radio Show, episode 383, I think it was. Uh, let's see, man, you just got done hearing the music news for this week. And I got some other news here that I'm probably going to just touch on real quick. Uh, you're probably wondering, mm, who's the most, who in the music industry thinks that they're the most hated out there out of all of them? And it just comes across this article here that I was just reading just a little while ago. And Corey Taylor says that he is one of the most hated dudes right now. As they say, but he claims that he loves being the topic of conversations among the band's fans because it helps carry on the legacy. <clears throat> that was his, this talk that he had with XFM's um, Ian Camfield on his rock show. And I'm not sure if you guys knew this, or you probably did. You heard about Joey Kramer. He had a heart procedure done. Uh, let's see, when was this? A couple of months ago, I think it was. And um, he's coming out and telling people how he's feeling. And he's saying about all the stuff that happened to him. He said he had, he under he was after undergoing a minor medical procedure to remove blockage from inside of a coronary artery. I think that's kind of a little more than just a minor medical procedure, what you think. It says, the article goes on to say that this musician who had no history of a heart condition prior to this past August medical scare told VH1 Classics that might have showed a trunk during an interview on the Eddie Trunk podcast. Uh, he says, look, shit happens, and you've got to make the best of it. It wasn't my time. It wasn't time for my ticket to be punched, and so I got fixed. And I'm back 150%, and everything is as good as it possibly can be. But Joey Kramer, how can you be 150%? I thought the only the only highest you can get is 100% at something. How can you be more than 100%? It doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I'm just saying that. Well, he went on to say that I used to come off stage fairly winded. Not to say that what I do is easy, but now I come off stage, and because of all the workout, working out that I do, and the time that I spend in the gym, it's really to my benefit because now I'm flowing a hundred percent. So now he's saying he's a hundred percent where paragraph back is 150. Then he goes on to say, whereas I had some blockage before they fix that and it's better than it ever was. Uh, let's see what I'll start asking. I'm trying to just cap, cap, capture some key things. They were asking him what was what made him think about what was going on. Um, he said that he was thinking it was acid reflux, and he, kept, he said he kept getting this burning sensation in his chest, and that's what he thought. So he kept taking all these antacids, and then finally, um, their general manager or the general practitioner said to him, or his PCP, whatever, just to make sure and rule out that it's anything cardiac related. Uh, go take and take a stress test. He said so that when he went and took the stress test, I got through the echocardiogram with flying colors. He said that my cardiovascular system looked like that of a 48 or 58 year, 50 year old, and I'm 64. And then I got on the treadmill, and when I got on the treadmill, it started to bother me a little bit. And so he wanted to go to do what they call imaging. And that's what showed the blockage. And when I had an ang ang angioplasty done, and they put two stents in my heart, and now I feel better than ever. And so 
Thanks to modern science, I'm back. My recoup time was like five days, and I took seven. And I was back on stage, and now it's better than ever. I feel great and playing great, and that's the story. And that's what Joey Kramer says. So, okay, I'm not going to ramble on with a bunch of music. I'm going to filter some in and out between these songs. I'm going to play in a couple interviews and stuff. So here you go. I'm going to play for you some brand new Sanctuary here on Maximum Threshold Radio with a rise and purify. And you know if you guys listen to us live, you're going to hear the music. If you're not listening to us live, you're not hearing the music. So we'll be back after us here on Maximum Threshold Radio. And you just got done hearing some hatred with honor. And before that, of course, if you were listening to the live stream here on Maximum Threshold Radio, you got to hear Ice Cream Man by Van Halen. So I'm busting out some some good old tracks from back in the day. So you'll be hearing some more of that sprinkled out throughout the night here on the Maximum Threshold Radio Show. I want to thank everybody who were, were at the, um, the show that we played last night at the Fantasy Concert Club in Lakewood, Ohio last night for a benefit that we did, or not we did, but we were we attended to help. And I say it went over really good. And we had, we went first and with Morning Wagon, of course, that we played. And it was a nice, nice reception for us. Man, it was real cool. It was our first show of the year. And uh, I think we left everybody there in stitches. And also laughing stitches too. So it went over good. You know, we brought our little our little commentary in between the songs and pretty funny though. Made a lot of weird references in between songs and it went over really good. So if you were there it was cool, man. Hang out and meet us in the chair and tell us what you thought about the show. And um got some other stuff here I'm about to unload to you guys. Seem like I've been loading, unloading a lot. <laughs> I got some brand new Octane Mob here on Maximum Threshold Radio. <clears throat> I'm gonna play this, and I just got this. Shit, half hour ago. I've been waiting for this for a while. So this is an exclusive here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Some brand new Octane Mob, Octane Mob, and Maximum Threshold go back years. I'm going to tell you that. They've been around here with Maximum Threshold for a long, long time. I'm talking a while. So, and it's really cool to have them on our side. There's, they were been on the last couple MT compilation records that we put out, and they're going to be on the next one as well. And I think this, this track here might just make it on there. This one here is called Demon Driver here on Maximum Threshold. And like I said, if you're listening to us live on the live stream, you get to hear this stuff. But if you're not listening to us in the live stream and it's on and pre record, all you're getting is just my talk and you're not getting an opportunity to hear this music. So I'm asking you, if you just make your way, man. One of these nights, Saturday nights, tune in and you get to listen to this, the music that we're playing for you. So here you go, man. Here is Demon Driver. Uh, by Octane Mob out of L.A. Here you go. Check them out, man. These guys are really good. Good metal band. If you're not familiar with them, you will be now. This is Octane Mob with Demon Driver here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Be back after this. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm just, just on here, just goofing around just playing some music here um if you were tuning into the live feed you heard some la reverie or reverie with ellie jorgen singing on it and um yeah i haven't heard that in a while so that's going back a few years i think it was 2011 playing something some older stuff from her and their band and it's another band that's been on um the radar with maximum threshold over the last bunch of years I got some some um, some of that new Slipknot. I'm thinking I, I may play some of that in a little bit if I have the time. So we'll see what happens. Not too sure. And but yeah, um, Michael and Shannon they're over there at um, in Pittsburgh tonight. Checking out Steel Panther and Judas Priest in concert. 
And yeah, I know they got they got like fifth row seats, so they got hooked up pretty good. So that's cool. So I'm getting a review out of them. See so everything says. Uh, oh, let's see who we got here. Where's my phone at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hello? Hello? <coughs> I know who this is. Colin. It's Ellie. Ellie Jordan. We are just talking about her. Hello there. Hello, Allie. How are you? Oh, pretty good. How are you doing? What's going on? They're on the way to the Rockers Against Cancer Benefit here in L.A. Oh, nice. Who else is going to be there? Um, the headliner is The Sweet, and I think Voodoo Sex Cult is opening the show, and just a lot of uh, musicians are going to be popping in, some famous people and jamming with different bands. It's going nice. to be a pretty cool night. Are you going to play, or are you just there checking it out? Yeah, we go on stage at 8 o'clock. Oh, sweet. So that's in a couple more hours. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're excited. Nice. There's, are they going to have, um, are they expecting a pretty large turnout for this? Yeah, actually, I've been seeing tons of promo everywhere, and all the magazines are featuring it, and there's going to be some magazines and I think some radio stations down there. And nice. Our big station here, KLOS, is his, uh, the MC is from that station, so I think it's going to be a pretty big deal. Nice man, I, you guys work your ass off, and you know doing what you do, and you guys you guys need to get this exposure. And I, I really hope this helps you guys. And I know it's a great cause and everything, but I do hope that you know some of the positives also go along with you guys. Well, that that would be awesome. It is actually a very special cause for us, me personally, because I did lose my mother to cancer. Yeah. So um, it's going to be. One of the songs I wrote, Hall of Mirrors, was kind of about that. So okay. it's going to be a really kind of special night for, for us. Nice. Yeah, last night, my band, Morning Wagon, we played a, a cancer benefit as well. And, but unfortunately, that the person who we were having the benefit for, uh, she passed away last week. So we did a celebration of her life last night instead. That's cool, too, mm. you know, celebrating life yeah. to try to just get stronger to get together to try to fight this, That's you know, right. if we all come together, just hopefully we can make some progress against this terrible disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this lady, she had stage four lung cancer, and she, she exhausted all her cancer treatment here in the States. So she was trying to raise 60000 to go to Austria for this oh, wow. um, treatment that they had. And this guy had, um, or this, this doctor there had really good results. Uh, using the different types of um, treatments that they, that they had, and but unfortunately she did get to go there. But in, just last week, though, like I said, as she passed away, uh, so you know, wow. the cancers. It's a bitch, man. It, it doesn't doesn't matter who you are or where you're from or whatever. I know the lung is is one of the most aggressive. It just yeah. once it's there, it just takes over everything. Yeah, it spreads. It's sad. So how are you doing? I'm oh, pretty good. Just doing a lot of, just working a lot and getting back in the, um, the radio thing here and we're hitting a bunch of shows. We have um, another couple guys on the show, uh, Michael, he's out in Pittsburgh right now checking out Steel Panther and Judas Priest. Ah, we can't wait. We were just listening to Redeemer of Souls. That's right. It was just, I just, oh, I just got them playing Metalizer on here. <laughs> Not too long ago. I went into Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you got them. You got priests coming out there. Um, like was it next month at the Nokia? I think. Yeah, I think it's the eleventh. No, the tenth. I think tenth hmm. of November. Yeah, it's going nice. to be a cool show. Nice. Yeah, it's just priests, man. I guess they're they're doing a ninety minute set, and I'm just making it that long. Wow! And then I guess Panthers opening. It's going to be a mm. hell of a night. Oh yeah, hey, you can't go wrong when you got them opening up. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my favorite band right there. Yeah, that place is going to be a crazy party yeah. zone with those guys nice. there. <laughs> uh, so you want to talk about your new material that you're working on? Yeah, we're super excited. We um, we're going a little uh, dark, darker and heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, 
our first single, we're, we actually are doing the song live, but we don't have a recording to give to you yet. Hopefully, um, in the next few weeks, we're going to be done with it. Um, but it's called Hounds of Hell, and and it's uh, it's pretty heavy, and it's pretty uh, pretty heavy for the reverie. It's going to be a oh. whole new direction. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that because your other material, it's like I, I just got them playing "Hold Me Down" just a little while ago. I was going going back a few years, and um, just listening how melodic that was. And you're saying you're going heavier, so I'm very interested to hear what this sounds like. Yeah, it's going to be. Um, Ali jumped into the dark side, and the <laughs> band jumped into the dark side. And what? <laughs> who was who was the influence to make you do that? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I just, I wanted to get away a little from some of the pop and some of the melodic. I mean, the Mm -hmm. melodies are still there. Um, We just wanted, like, double double guitars, maybe some Iron Maiden, I guess. I guess that would be an influence. Um, Definitely different than what what we have right now. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Yeah, and I, and I, I believe anything you're going to put out there is going to be really good because you, you're you guys you got some really great uh, musicians there alongside you, and your voice just complements almost anything that, that they put out there. Yeah, they um, they're pretty excited about the new direction. The guitar player, especially, he's he's able to go heavy and and kick it, and the, the drummer's doing like double bass crazy mania nice. stuff and. Yeah, they're pretty happy about it. <laughs> so, Ellie, we're on a mission to crunch. <laughs> Adam, the drummer's driving, and he said, "We're on a mission to crunch." Nice. It's going to bring the pain. <laughs> so, Ellie, how can people get a hold of your music who aren't familiar with your um, Reverie? Our website is um, www. spelled L E R E. V as in Victor, E R I E dot com, and um, we do have. We just got a song. I'm not sure if if you guys, your people know that, but we just got a song in the gothic horror thriller film Lake Erie. Um, our song, The Dream, is the theme song for the film, which oh, is nice. really cool. It's in time for Halloween. Lake Erie. Now that's with two E's. Yes, two E's. Well, it's not going to be like our Great Lakes in Lake Erie. <laughs> exactly. And, <laughs> The, it's like the, some of the lyrics. I guess the director heard, um, you know, ghostly figures in the night. That's how the song starts. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know if this is real or if this is a dream. And that's kind of what the lead lady's going through in the movie. So he just thought the words were perfect for the film and put it put it in there. So when the back credits come on, then our song comes on. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Uh, one more one more time. How could people um, find your website? Just want to make sure we get that out there. It's uh, La Reverie, spelled L E R E V as in Victor E R I E dot com, and the dream will come on right when you guys log on. It's it's uh, programmed that way. <laughs> nice. And you also do some writing too on the side, don't you? Yeah, we uh, also work for uh, an LA webzine called LA Metal Media, and um, that's been keeping me really busy as well. We're actually going to be covering the Judas Priest show it's going to be really exciting um the drummer right here he's the photographer and oh cool he's got some pretty some pretty awesome stuff if you guys want to check it out it's la metal com, and um we're going to have a, a bunch of judas priest and a bunch of still panther stuff on there but we just did um james addiction uh did the the sunset strip music festival for thousands and that was pretty interesting we did a whole thing on them and their award and we just did um an awesome interview with floor jensen the new singer for nightwish mm-hmm. and with and temptation and sonata artica a lot of european metal uh, we've kind of been getting involved with some of that so pretty interesting what do you think about that new nightwish I'm pretty excited to hear Floor on the new material. I mm-hmm. think she's got a really beautiful, interesting voice, and um, I talked to her. You should check out the interview. She's so down to earth. She um, she can growl with the rest of them. She can sing opera with the best of them. I mean, she can run the full gamut. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Sweet. 
Okay, Allie, hey, we're going to get going here, but I just want to touch base with you and just get everybody up to speed uh, with you and, you know, your your writing and the band and everything. Awesome. Thank you so much. And definitely, man, we've got to get you back on here, um, especially when we get some more time, we could plan this out and get some promotion out for it. And we get a lot of people in our chat room here to uh, ask you questions and everything. I also wanted to say that um, Hellion is is at it again. They're back. They're awesome. Oh, and man. they're doing the biggest show in L.A. is the Hellion, Hellion Halloween show. And that's going to be here in L.A. And we actually get to open the show for them. So nice. it's going to be a Larevery and Hellion together. Sounds good. And is amazing. They got mm-hmm. Simon Ragged on drums. And the band is kick-ass. So if anyone's in L.A., you've got to come down to Paladinos and check out this Halloween party. It's going to be off the chart. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you again, Allie, for calling in. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to um, talk to you guys and get Hounds of Hell on there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Thank you, too. You too. And there you have it. It's Allie Jorgen from the Band La Reverie here on Maximum Threshold Radio. And um, we're back. And I just want to thank Allie, Allie Jorgen, for being on the show here. And uh, if you're listening to us live, you get to hear some La Reverie music along with it for the interview. So once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning into the Maximum Threshold Radio show. I'm going to take a little break here. and I want to come back and... Um, I don't know, man. I got I got this this really funny interview I want to play that we did with Daisy Delahoya, and this is it's it's pretty funny. It's it's an old one, but it's this is priceless. <laughs> so here we go. I'll be back after this. You want to listen to Maxim Celestial Radio on your phone? You can do so. The app is out there, baby. Tune in radio. Go to your little market there and download Tune In Radio. Just type that in the search. Tune in radio. Once you download that app, click it, activate it, blah blah blah. Search maximum threshold. That's once again that tune in radio. You can also catch the podcast on there also. Uh, real nice. Check it out. Tune in radio for maximum threshold radio live. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash maxthreshold. Or if Facebook is your thing, go to facebook.com slash maximumthreshold. Michael Strong, you motherfucker! Ow! A maximum threshold, baby. Woo! It's Michael Starr from Steel Panther. Okay. Hey, boy. We didn't do that stuff that's all back in that truck. <laughs> Well, one thing, it sounds like it's time to uh, give away some stuff. It's content time. Okay, boss, that's your thing. Hey, what up, everyone? It's Corey Taylor here from Slipknot and Stone Sour, and you are being subjected to Maximum Threshold Radio. Yes, Just like you me. are. That's right. Thanks, Corey. <clears throat> okay, here, I got some new... Um, trivium for you, and for people where you're not, you're not hip, you're not down with the trivium. Man, you guys, you gotta get into these guys, cause they're they're the future, man. And they've been around here for a little while, and they've been thrashing it out. And it's a really good band. And they're if you're around the Cleveland area, I and mean, they hit this area probably two, three times a year. And that's also like in, also in Columbus, like a rock and a range and different festivals. They're all there, there too. So they're all over the place. They're with Roadrunner Records. So I'm going to play something off this. It was just sent to me. So I'm going to turn you guys on to this. Um, this here is Villainy. Uh, this brand new tri- trivium here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Horns up, fist in the air. Remember, we're live. And there you go, man. That was Steel Panther with 10 strikes. You're out here at Maximum Threshold. And here I got, um, gotta play this, man. This is Morning Wagon. This was What You Don't Know. This is me band. Be back after this. You'll be singing along towards the end. You know it. If you haven't already, do. 
<laughs> you can't fit this on Maxim Threshold Radio. Horns up, fist in the air.
As you all know, that Thank was mor- Morning Wagon with What You Don't Know. And and has Michael on drums and Shannon on guitar and Stephen Holman on bass and me playing lead guitar, shredding it for you. <laughs> so we've been playing them for Morning Wagon for years on here. And um, got to do it, man. They're just they're the staple of the show. Let's see what else I got going on. Oh, I was going to knock this interview out that I had. And if you guys are just tuning in and you're wondering what the hell Maxim Threshold's all about, we interview rock stars, actors, comedians, um, reality stars, stuff like that, and just anybody. Wrestlers. We don't care. <laughs> so I got an interview here I'm gonna, I want to play for you. This is Daisy De La Hoya. You may remember her. She was on Rock of Love with Brett Michaels when she was a runner-up. And she lost. So and she went on to do some other reality shows afterwards. But here I'm going to play. This is, this is a nice interview. It's pretty funny. Some really cool stuff in here, too. So I'll be back after this. It's a little while here. Enjoy this. I'll be back. It's coffee time. You are about to listen to an exclusive interview here on Maximum Threshold Radio at MaximumThreshold.net. Hello. Hello. Daisy. Hey, how's it going? Well, pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, Daisy. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. Oh, cool. Hey, it's, it's, I'm glad to have you back on the show here. Hi, hey, listen, Daisy. We got um, Dave yeah. and Michael here in the studio also here. Hi, Daisy. Hi, how's it going? I love you, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. I just like like you, so I'm not like Michael. Yeah, he's just, gay. He was asking about your nails. What your nails? Hey, I was like. looking at the highlights and lowlights in your hair, and I was wondering, you know, on your nails, whether they were acrylics or fills or natural. <laughs> Listen. Um. Well, they are natural because I play guitar, so I can't have fake nails. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not as awesome as Dolly Parton. Well, no offense. I wouldn't even care if you didn't have hands or feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. I feel like that's just what any guy would say about any woman because that's just how men are. No, that's not true. I liked your bubbly personality, too. I actually watched Rock of Love so, because of you. Well, thank you very much. I, I've never even seen it. That's Dave saying he's And, and he, Dave, is in love with Brett Michaels. Who <laughs> 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 uh, is it? I, I just like them, whereas I like like you. I was looking at your photographs today, and you gave me a little background on you, and I saw pictures of you at you know at your at the Anvil premiere, and I saw pictures of you at different events, and you look very pretty, especially on the on the uh, red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> he just saw pictures that I showed him. <laughs> no, I he's saw so full of, of shit. <laughs> not a full of shit. I just said several places I saw him. So now. Nah. Yeah, yeah he, saw, he saw him sitting in his chair, and he saw him leaning over to look at him. <laughs> and I need to know. That's all. So we hear that you're related to Oscar De La Hoya. Is that correct? Yes, I am. And how are you related, if I may ask? Oh, well, he's my uncle. He's my brother's dad. Or he's my dad's brother, sorry. <laughs> so basically, if a dude treats you wrong, everybody in the family is going to beat their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess so, yeah, I really don't have uh, a close personal relationship with um, anybody in my family, so you know, I'm sort of on my own. Really? And you're, are you? Are you? Now, I'm not trying to sound racist, but are you of Hispanic background? <laughs> yes, I'm very Spanish. So no, no. The reason I'm asking is because I dated a Spanish girl, and their families are usually very, very tight knit. And the first words out of their mouth was, "It's a white boy." You piss us off, we kill you. I'm like, dude, oh my God, that was the worst Hispanic accent that was her I've uncle. ever heard. That, that was, was her uncle. I swear to God, her uncle did that to me. And I'm a, I was a foot and a half taller than him. He's like, little white boy. <laughs> like, I'm a foot and a half yeah, taller I think than you. Because it's really, uh, you know, Spanish families, Italian families, but, you know, they all come from very big families, but I definitely have a lot of cousins and nieces and that I've, I just don't even know who any of them are, you know, that I've, I've had the pleasure of 
going to family gatherings and just like endless amounts of this is you know your cousin Dunzo and I'm like oh my god <laughs> but um I definitely grew up um you know w- with some different circumstances in my life and uh I've been I, I ran away from home when I was 15 so I'm kind of the black sheep definitely of, of my family so the hottest like, sheep I've ever seen it sounds like you need a hug come here <laughs> <laughs> I was talking okay. to Dave. I, I, I don't do hugs. <laughs> you don't do hugs. <laughs> She's a smart girl. Not to be around you, Michael. Come here. Give you a hug. Does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> <laughs> so you're a musician now. You play guitar. I'm not saying now, but I'm saying currently you're a musician. So uh, what's going on with that? You have a band? Are you playing out? Are you recording an album? Are you seeking management? Um, I actually have been doing music for quite some time since I was 18, so this isn't really anything that's new. It's just at this time period now, I'm uh, getting ready to do my very own band because at those times I was uh, performing in other people's bands, and uh, so I'm getting ready to debut my um, album with my band, and my band is called Mechanical Animals. And we actually uh, had gone on tour last year we did like a full uh, national tour, and uh, now I'm just getting ready to finish up the uh, production and start working on uh, what will be the single and hopefully a video. And I'm really, really, really excited about it. And um, we're also doing a project uh, along with that called Pledge the Music, which is basically um, you know where fans can go and they uh, donate a certain amount of um, funds towards. Uh, whatever project the band is working towards, such as a video or sort of a like tool or merchandise, and fans get exclusive uh, content as a part of that, and also 10% of the proceeds go to uh, charity. And the uh, charity that uh, I personally support, as well as the band, is, uh, they're called To Get Love in Her Arms, which is a nonprofit organization that uh, you know talk, uh, helps support people who have ever dealt with suicide, drugs, or alcohol and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a charity that I know, you know, a subject that I know a lot about and um, I've been working with uh, to write Love and Homes for a while, so. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, it's also basically like a Kickstarter, like, I want you know. Yeah, it, it, it's a kick, it is kind of like a Kickstarter. I don't know much about Kickstarter, but um, this is all strictly music and it also, um, I know on Kickstarter there is no, um, you know, charity or whatever. They don't give us to charity. So those are the two differences, but yeah, I guess it's along the same lines. So where where's your where's this band based out of? Um, well, I am you know based out of Los Angeles. I mean, it's based out of wherever I'm based out of because I'm the, uh, the you know points. writer and <laughs> sort of like a um, you know Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. You know, you, you're not going to have Nine Inch Nails without Trent Reznor, and he can go anywhere in the world. So. Yeah. But uh, we are definitely uh, West Coast based. Okay. Okay. So um, let me ask you this, because like I said, I did watch Rock of Love. Did and you've been in a couple other reality shows. Um, have has that helped or hindered your career as a musician? Um, I would say that it's probably helped it because you know, again, I. I've been doing music and acting for, and you know, I guess modeling here and there for a very long time. So, I, you know, Rock of Love was sort of my beginning start, and you know, built a name for myself. So, you know, but I think I'm, I feel very blessed and lucky that I, um, you know, have that built-in fan base already, where a lot of people who are in bands, you know, starting out, they don't have that, and it's really. You know, it's really hard to make it in this industry, especially when there's, you know, every person in the world is in a band or they want to be in a band or, you know, or they're an actress or they're an actor. It's it's really, really tough and competitive. And I'm very blessed that I, you know, I sort of kind of like went backwards and got to know the person before the artist. So that's, you know, a little, um, you know, different because most people, you know, build, build their reputation through their music and you don't really get to know who the people are and it's sort of mysterious and whatever but you know my thing kind of went backwards and I you know you got to know sort of see this character Daisy before you got to see the you know who I am as an artist but 
you know, I'm so thankful for all those people that I have that support me. Um, obviously, there's still a whole 7 billion people in the world to, you know, <laughs> slew to be my fan, but I'm, I'm very lucky that I have the people that I do have, um, and, it, and it helps a lot. Yeah, and so um, who, who are your influences, and who's in the band with you? Um, well, my influences are, you know, pretty much all over rock and roll. Music has been a humongous part of my life since, you know, I could speak. Um, I, you know, go bounce around from different artists to different artists, depending on my mood. But, you know, I, I love a lot of classic rock. So, what's up with Rolling Stones, you know, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, she celebrated his his birthday a couple of days ago, you know, so um, I, I love a lot, you know, really into a lot of uh, Nirvana, Soundgarden right now, Hole, Manson, Nine, Nine Chanel, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff. I, a lot, you know, a while ago, it was really, <laughs> it was, I was on an 80s kick, obviously, so it was really into Poison, Molly Crew, mm -hmm. Guns N' Roses. I actually just saw Guns N' Roses, too, um, the other day here in Vegas because right yes. now I'm uh, in Vegas and that was definitely a really amazing show. <laughs> I, was, I was like blown away by, so, you know, I was just like in awe because I don't think they had one bad song, you know, like, you know, a lot of bands you go and you hear their one or two hit songs mm -hmm. and, you know, then you're like, okay, cool. But like literally Guns N' Roses had like, I mean, every song. <laughs> and I was like, now you fucking got, awesome. You got like, to go back. just like, ah. <laughs> Did you get to go backstage and hang out with them afterwards? I freaking didn't. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you know, I know, I know um, you know, one of the amazing guitarists. His name is DJ Ashba, and he yeah. is an amazing guitar player. I kind of know him, so I like, I don't want to be like a anymore, but <laughs> I mean, it is Guns N' Roses, so. Yeah, we're good friends with Bumblefoot. I have a question for you. You said '80s music. When you were younger, any influence from Eddie Murphy? Party all the time. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't really think so because I would have been like five or three. So listening to Eddie Murphy's "Party," my girl wants to party all the time. Probably wasn't an influence for me, <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I was very influenced by Ozzy. Actually, Ozzy was was one of my biggest influences when I was, you know, I remember the video with Lita Ford, um, the, uh, close if I closed my eyes forever, that was probably like what did it, did it for me. And then I remember being really disappointed though, when I found out that Ozzy was married and had children because <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, uh, you can't get married and have children if you're a rock star. <laughs> but like, that's not okay. Like, that's not what rock stars do. <laughs> That's true. So where can we find uh, all the information on Daisy De La Hoya and your music? Which What's, what's the name of your project going to be, by the way? Mechanical Animals. Is that after, named after the Manson, or do you just, is it? Yeah. Okay. So where can we find this, all, all things Daisy? Well, you can always... Uh, go to my website, which is www.daisydelahoya.com, or you can go to my Facebook, which I post stuff, but mostly it's stuff that <laughs> it's like dramatic stuff when I, you know, about my personal life, which I try to like, you know, not do that. But um, and my Facebook is uh, daisy.delahoya1, mm -hmm. and then Twitter, which is daisy underscore delahoya. Um, and then uh, as soon as I'm, uh, you know, set up and running with Pledge Music, which is www.pledgemusic.com, the band will actually start having its own um, Twitter and Facebook yes. and, you know, hopefully a website at some point. And, you know, those will sort of all be separate because, uh, you know, I want to try to keep, you know, my own personal, you know, personality mm -hmm. uh, separated from the band itself. And when you get when you get that music done, here, you got to send it over here because we want to be like one of the official outlets for Daisy Delahoya and the Mechanical Animal. We want to help you out. 
Yeah, I would love that. Um, you know, like I said, I'm we're almost finished up with the recording process. I just actually came back from LA um, yesterday mm-hmm. and back to Vegas, and uh, you know, I'm I'm it's a ten song album, and we are about I think we have two more songs to finish up recording, and then um, as far as production goes, you know, that's it's pretty it's about ninety percent done. So mm-hmm. I'm really really excited because nice. it's been a long process. And, you know, there's still a lot that goes into it. And I think, you know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, you know, you do see a lot of people that they, they put out music, you know, really fast and all that stuff. But, you know, for me, it's, it's this is a process because, you know, I want to make quality music and there's a lot that goes into it. And especially when you don't have a record label or you don't have funding or, you know, you don't have all those things. So it, it takes a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's been, you know, I, I wrote everything majority by myself. You know, I don't have a band, you know, technically behind me. You know, I have, I have a drummer, my drummer, who, his name is Chuck Irwin, and he actually drums, uh, you know, for, he drums for a lot of people, but, you know, he, he's my sort of partner in crime. And then mm-hmm. other than that, i just been working with a producer. So... Um, it's a lot easier that when you have like a band and you have four people or whatever that you can just like bounce ideas off of. <laughs> but when you're sort of like alone in your, you know, room or whatever, just writing guitar, <laughs> it, it gets a little uh, tedious and like, you know, it's hard. But I'm, I'm very proud, you know, I'm very, I'm very excited that I'm able to do this. Like I'm, I'm just so excited about the whole situation because when I listen to these songs and I'm like, oh my God, at least I wrote that, you know, yeah. it's like really exciting. I can't wait to see um, what happens next and mm-hmm. hopefully, you know, any other stuff that I write, well, it'll just continue to be better and better and better, you know, because that's, you know, what I, what I hope for. Gotcha. Well, Daisy, we're going to we're gonna have to let you go, but before we do, can we have you cut a promo ID for our radio station uh, to tell us who you are? You know, say something crazy, profess your love for me, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, say like your name. Um, you t- say you love Michael or something like that. And say you listen to Maximum Threshold and throw some crazy out at the end of it. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> this is David Olivia, and you're listening to Maximum Threshold, and we love orgies. That was good. We'd awesome. buy that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy. Hey, I want to thank you very much for being on the show here tonight, and and definitely we want to get you back on here, especially when you get something when your music gets done, so we can help promote it and do what we do what we do best over here. Oh, I, I have one more question. Are you still are you still friends with Brett? Uh, yeah, you know, I I think a lot of people kind of have a you know wrong idea or or not a complete understanding of the situation. But um, I don't have anything against Brett Michaels. He's a great guy, and you know, it's sort of one of those things when you do a job, job, the job of whatever you're doing in this industry. You know, I don't, of course, I'm going to be friends with them. You know, but he, he, you know, he obviously continues on with his career, and I have to continue on with my career. So it's sort of like a parting of ways. But there's I don't have any bad feelings for him, though. I, I'm very I mean, thankful to part of that I show. Mean, it's very, very lucky yeah. to, to be, you know, had had gotten to be part of that show for sure. Yeah, yeah. I would. I was just asking because I I know like some people had bad experiences, and a lot of times it is what you make it too. You know. Yeah, I think you know. For a, uh, I can't speak for anybody else because I don't know, you know, what they're situations are in their life or whatever it was but you know for me that that's you know i you know i do acting i do singing you know i'm an entertainer so for me that's a job and it was very exciting to have and so i sort of understood more of what was happening and what the purpose was and you know all those things because that's you know as an actress or whatever in, in the entertainment industry you sort of just have that understanding of you know the situation so, um, so, so for me, it was the most amazing, you know, one of the most amazing, grateful experiences that I have, you know, you know, currently, you know, it, it really like changed my whole entire life. And I'm very, 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 very thankful. And I'm super thankful for all the things that I've, you know, have come from it. Um, but, you know, it's definitely time to move on to the next phase of, you know, who I am and what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm excited that I'm able to do that as well. Okay, um, Daisy, hey, we want to thank you very much again for being on the show here. And like I said, we'll get you back on here as soon as you got something else you're out there pushing, okay? Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. And have yourself a wonderful evening. Okay, you too. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Daisy. 
Thank you for listening to an exclusive interview here on Maximum Threshold Radio at MaximumThreshold.net. Unsigned bands. You are jam packed. Hey, unsigned bands. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song. Send it to Dom at MaximumThreshold.net. Once again, it is Dom at MaximumThreshold.net. You are listening to MaximumThreshold.net. You can now hear the Maximum Threshold Radio Show on Stitcher Radio. Uh, Stitcher allows you to listen to your favorite shows directly from your iPhone, Android phone, BlackBerry, and Palm Free. On demand and on the go. Don't have Stitcher? Download it for free today at Stitcher.com. Once again, you can hear Maximum Threshold Radio Show on Stitcher.com. Now back to Maximum Threshold. Man, these guys are hotter than a two-bit hooker. Hi, this is Adrian Pannenberg, all the way from Holland. And you're listening to Maximum Threshold. Keep rocking, guys. Phone lines are open. Call now, 440-709-4977. Once again, that number is 440-709-4977. We'll be right back right after this short break here on Max and Thrash Radio. Horns up, piss in there, bitches. Everybody knows that tattoos are all the rage, and you want to be cool and get a tattoo. But you're not really cool until you got the gear, too. So the newest gear, the coolest gear, the hottest gear is United Tattoo Brotherhood. Because only people... Is the coolest cats got them? No. Only people with tattoos accept everybody. Not everybody accepts everybody with tattoos. And it is a brotherhood. Yes, it is. It's, we're, we're all family. And these are available only at utb13.com or at Gen X in Willoughby, Ohio. And you go on there, you can get hoodies, t shirts, women's shirts, and soon you'll be able to get some hats. Sweet. And uh, they're a new sponsor of ours. And check it out. I think they really do it. UTB13.com. Those are the letters. UTB13.com. It's the United Tattoo Brotherhood. Yes. Join the family. Miss the live show? Go to StitcherRadio.com and search Maximum Threshold and listen in today. That's Maximum Threshold and Stitcher Radio. A match made in heaven. Wondering how you're hearing Maximum Threshold right now? The online 24 7 player. You listen to it live and it's streamed and it's fueled by JWN Media. Once again, it's JWN Media. Check them out if you're looking. JWN Media has reasonable prices for shoutcast feeds. So if you have yourself a a show and you want to get on the air, you can do so. If you have your music, you want to play it on your website 24-7, you can do that at JWN Media. They'll take care of all your online needs. Once again, it's JWNmedia.com. Tell me you heard about this through MaximumThreshold.net. Maximum Threshold Radio live every Saturday night exclusively here at MaximumThreshold.net. And if you're not listening to it live, you're listening to one of our fine affiliates. Thanks for listening to Maximum Threshold Radio Show and the Maximum Threshold Radio Network. Have a smartphone, iPod, iPad, or even Roku? Grab the app, tune in, and search Maximum Threshold and hear the show live directly from your device.
Hey, this is Dominic, and whenever I'm um, strumming my guitar, I'm looking for that sensational sound. It only works the best with SIT strings. Once again, that is SIT strings. Check them out at SITstrings.com. And if you're a guitarist, you definitely want to get these on your axe, because they'll never, ever let you down. want to text the show you can text 24 hours a day just send a message i from your phone at 440-520-1956 once again a text number the show is 440-520-1956 text the show now phone lines are open call now 440-709-4977 once again, that number is 440-709-4977. Your good friends at Maxim Threshold. We'd like to inform you, your beauty's only skin deep unless your dog's ugly and then you're nasty from the inside out. Well, listen to Maxim Threshold Radio. Yeah, and I'm back. <clears throat> you just got done hearing Snoo with Thunderdog. It's some brand new Snoo for you right there. And I want to thank again, last week on the show, or was the week before last, we had our good friend Curtis Don Vito on the show. And, yeah, we talked about that. So, I got a couple more songs here to play in. Maybe we got another call in, and then I want to get out of here. So here we go. Let me play some. Oh, what the hell do I want to play? Oh, there was something here. Because I got so much new stuff. And I, I always get mad afterwards. After 
the show because I'm like, damn, I wanted to play this. I wanted to play that. And I just didn't get a chance to do that. Here we go. I'm going to play this damn brand new Octane Mob with Demon Driver right here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Be right back here on Maximum Threshold Radio. Words up this near. You are listening to an exclusive interview here on Maximum Threshold. Maximum Threshold Radio Show is every Saturday night from 8 to 11 p.m. exclusively at MaximumThreshold.net. All right, we, we, found a, we found a stud out in the audience. We found this stud. Come here, fucker. Hey, Sh- Shannon, what's your name? Uh, I think it's Shannon. All right. Uh, you're in Morning Wagon, right? What band are you in? Uh, I think I'm in Morning Wagon. Okay, other than your drummer being a total fucking jack-off, what's the worst thing about being in that band? Nothing. It's the greatest band in the world. Even hotter than Kiss? We're the hottest band in the world. When do the action figures come out? Soon. I'm, I'm molding them right now in my basement. Do you think that you could give your drummer a giant cod piece? He doesn't need one. He's got the Death Star. That's right, bitches. What's up? So what do you want? You want to plug anything? Yeah, MorningWagon.com. Check us out on Facebook. Reverb Nation. And check us out uh, February 7th at the legendary Peabody's opening up for Sebastian Bach, bitch. Okay, let me ask you something. How do you feel tonight that you're not drinking Milwaukee's Best Light? I'm dying, man. They don't serve good beer here. I don't know what they, it's too expensive here too. What the fuck? What the fuck? How come how come they charged your singer twenty dollars and you only ten? Because I'm good looking, man. You are good looking, but you got some big titties. Man, I got a question. How much did it cost to get in? It's ten bones, bitch. Why didn't you come to the back door? What's that? Why ain't you coming through the back door? Because we gotta keep uh, everything funded. You know, Barack Obama said, you know. Put well, I thought back in, into the economy. I, I always thought that any friend of Michael's would always go through the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Not my back door. Listen. <laughs> We're on the street. I'm the giver. He's the taker. He's a bottom. <laughs> no. A power bottom. Oh, shit. Anvil's on. Say, okay. some, say something. Tell us what maximum threshold means to you. We're going to cut you off. It rocks hard. Listen, baby. Morningwagon.com, fuckers. Hey, we're out of here and we're live now. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold. Be sure to tune in to the Maximum Threshold radio show every Saturday night from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern at MaximumThreshold.net. And there you have it. And there was a cool interview <coughs> with Shannon Henkel, the the guitarist in Morning Wagon, and Michael and myself. So there you go. Uh, yeah, I may have another call in here in a minute. Here, I was talking with my buddy Caton, and we're going to see what's going on with Hyrax. I'm trying to get an update with everybody. So. See what happens. <clears throat> I thank you again for tuning in to the Maximum Threshold Radio Show, episode 383. And yes, we've been doing this for almost 10 years. If you're in a band and you're on, uns- if you're an unsigned band and you want to be part of this Maximum Threshold c- compilation, the fourth one that we have had out, uh, all you got to do is shoot us over two of your tracks. Uh, the the concept of this release is going to be good and evil. So if you got um, some happy music and um, you think figure it'll fit in with the Christian side, just make sure you put in a subject that this is a music submission and uh, which side it's going to be on, good or bad or good or evil, whatever. And <clears throat> so I know where to place this at and listen to it and we can really um, pimp your music out and we get this compilation done. It's not going to cost you anything. So send it over to mtrshow at gmail.com. Once at, once again, it's mtrshow at gmail.com. Send it over two tracks and just a little bio. 
Uh, if you also had the lyrics to it, that'd be really cool. Because I'm going to try to put it on a, as an insert or for the digipack that we make for this. It'll be pretty cool. So we have your need your links and everything, your website. If you have like an EPK or whatever, um, put that with it. So we'll keep it all together and we'll package it up pretty good. So once again, it's going to be a pretty good, pretty good thing we're putting out. Uh, I remember last year. Uh, the, for the last comp that we did, we had over 3,000 downloads of it. We had over 1,000 in the first week, which is pretty good. And we didn't charge anybody anything for this. But if we would have charged anything, we would have hit the billboards with it. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what's going on, man. Just hit up net if you have any other questions about it. And maybe we can answer all your questions there. And if not, just email me mtrshow at gmail.com and just tell me what's going on and I'll let you know <coughs> so nah. uh, let's see here swirl the band if you go to facebook dot, facebook.com um, backslash swirl the band go there like them they're trying to get on this MX rock festival need you to go on there and like their like their listing that they have for this festival they're trying to get on uh, they need all the support. It's a great band. And they've been going out. They've been doing this um, for years, hitting the road and touring with bands like Rat. And and this is Kate and calling in. So here we go. Yes, you will be. Oh, maximum Let's threshold. Go. Hello. Hello. How are you, buddy? Hey, what's going on, Kate? Good. Just here with my guitarist Lance, working on guitar riffs. Nice. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I saw you on Inside Metal, man. It was cool seeing you in that movie. Right on. I haven't even seen it yet. So <laughs> I, uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm just trying to get it done. It's a three hour, man. If you if you got the, if you got the guts to wait it out, man, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I think I I have to get it on DVD so mm-hmm. I can take some breaks. But yeah, yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah, it took me about a, almost a week to get through it. Because I, I was watching it at my lunch break at work and just fitting yeah. it in. And it was cool, man. It's, it had a lot of lot of good info there in the beginning of the, the metal scene out there in L.A. It's really cool. And then when I saw you yeah. on there, were like, hey, man, you need to be in there. Because you're, you're in all these kind of documentaries that are popping out there in L.A. Because you were part, very instrumental in the thrash scene, man. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, I mean... We never thought about it back then, but yeah. it's nice to see that people appreciate it now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the opportunities, it's like pretty crazy because I can't do all of them because there's just so many that now, I mean, it's hard to believe, but it's, I think the 30 years, over 30 years of it now, people are really starting to give it a lot more credit. You That's know? right. And I'm looking forward to the next installment, the one where they start talking about the, the thrash scene out there in L.A., I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be really impressive because mm-hmm. you know we kind of got overlooked because of the Bay Area. But a, a funny thing is, is we had a lot to do with the Bay Area mm-hmm. also. You know? Oh yeah. You know, between between bands like Metallica, Slayer, Hyrax, and Dark Angel, we were all mm-hmm. going up there and playing with with those same bands. We were playing with Exodus, you know, Testament. I mean, Megadeth was still based out of LA too, so. We had a really great scene down here. We just kind of didn't get the credit, but I, I think the movie's going to help a lot. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to that. It's it's really cool. Yeah, it's it's nice yeah. when you see something that that you grew up with, listening to it, and and from from the get go, and just seeing somebody who actually. You know, took the historical time and put it together and made a movie out of it for you. I mean, it's something you can relate with yourself to. Yeah, it's 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 amazing to mm-hmm. see. Like even when I when I did that movie Get Thrashed, that yeah. was pretty amazing too. I like that. So, you know, it's it's uh it's just nice to see. I, I mean, I, I'm really appreciative because I'm just happy to still be doing the music and uh, the band's still current and we're still going and we're still producing new new records and. You know the fans come to the shows and they they want to hear all the you know the stuff from the beginning till now. Mm-hmm. So it's a nice mix of songs when we play live, and uh, you know we're back to the drawing board. We're working on a new album, mm-hmm. and uh, that should probably be out by next summer, hopefully. Nice. 2015, and 
then we go back out and tour the world. Basically, we're going to start in Europe and uh, work our way all over the place. We're going to do some U.S. dates, too, so we're going to be real busy in 2015. Yeah, you better swing through Cleveland this time. You keep missing us. Yeah, we got, we got, to, we got to get out there. I mean, it's, it's funny because certain territories we do really well in, mm-hmm. you know, and then, then we hear a lot from certain fans. So it's just, you know, we got to expand the base. So yep. I'm sure it would be really cool to come out there. Normally, even towards the East Coast, when we play the East Coast, it's amazing. So mm-hmm. we need to go to these other areas like Cleveland and uh, even places like Minnesota and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say this year we'll be doing, you know, 2015, a lot more of those those type of cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice to see you guys going out with um, like Death Angel or something like that. It'd be great to see that. you are fitting perfect. Yeah, that. you know, it's uh, it's cool because I think sooner or later something like that will happen. I mean, mm-hmm. it's better to do the packages because yep. it also gives the fans a better you know deal for their ticket price. So if you get like two headliners and some support acts, it's mm-hmm. always cool like that. Yep. I mean, there's there, the thing that a lot of the fans don't know is that those names are always being thrown around. Like, you know, there's there's always the ideas, but it's just a matter if they can make it work. You know, to where the tour can financially work. I mean, there's they always bring up tours like with Hyrax and Overkill or yeah. Death Angel or Exodus. We hear that all the time, but it's just a matter of trying to make it happen. And then the other thing is just tour schedules. Everybody's got a different tour schedule, so yeah. just trying to coordinate it. Were you able to, um, like over this past summer, were you, were you able to hop on any type of um, festivals? Yeah, we did a few, and it was really good because when you do the festivals, it opens you up to more fans, like mm-hmm. you play in front of bigger bigger audiences. Uh, but this next year coming up, we're doing more, like we're doing a summer festival tour uh, in 2015, which will be Europe. And that's like more of the bigger markets. You know, there's there's so many festivals over in Europe. And so it's a really good time to be there during the summer. And then we're also going during spring, like March. We'll be back over there, and we're going to go through, and we'll start in the U.K. We're going to start in Wales mm-hmm. and do, like, five shows in the U.K. and then go from there and probably do Scandinavia. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that we've got going on, and at the same time we've got to juggle the regular life stuff and then also, you know, make a new record. And that's, like, the big goal right now is doing a new record and we have a new video that's almost finished up for the newest album for Immortal Legacy. Nice. Uh, we did a song, uh, did a song called uh, Hellion Rising. The video should be almost done, you know, by by Halloween. So there's a lot of upcoming stuff, and then just getting back on the road because that, for us, it's really about touring. We like playing live. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the, one of the key things I, I've always loved about with Hyrax, and especially with you, is that you know when you're you're out there with the people you know you're talking with your fans you're there with it and knowing that side of you and how personal you are with with the fans and i get hit a lot up by by prs and they're always pushing music and then when i get see your music come to me or them talk about something that you're doing it just fires me up to know that hey man Caton's still out there busting his ass you know doing this doing what he loves and and when when i get people like in the other media sources hey you know you got to check this out they're doing this or doing that man it just it, it kind of makes me um you know i'm proud of you for doing what you're doing well thanks man i mean it's I think that's the way I'll always be. I don't mm-hmm. see that ever changing. I mean, it's, it's 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 the only part that's kind of a bummer is that we don't have as much time as we wish we oh, yeah. we could. Some, sometimes there's more kids and and people who are you know even our age that want stuff signed and stuff, and we wish we had more time to take care of all that because all the fans, every single one of them, for us, it's different as a band. It's really important uh, because we do appreciate the support. But it's also just because we're that kind of a band. Oh, yeah. you know, we just uh, we grew up that way. Um, the, it's all about music and uh, and having a good time. So we don't really think of it any other way. And uh, if we meet, you know, most of our fans. I mean, obviously we have some rowdy fans, but you know, most of our fans, you know, are just amazing, good people. So uh, we're real fortunate. Like when, when we meet the fans, it's always awesome and. You know, they've got the greatest stories, like, you know, listening to our music and things that have happened in their lives. So it's, it's just an honor. I don't really look at it, you know, as such a big deal. I just feel like, hey, we're a people's band, and we're real proud of that. That's right. 
Yeah, just a couple more things here, Kate and man. I'll let you get back doing what you're doing over there. But I just want to touch bases and get updated with with you on, you know, what you're you've been up to, and especially talk about your new album uh, that you're working on and the video and hitting the road. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, I really appreciate it. I mean, you are awesome because you're always keeping an eye on what's going on, and you're like, this is like you're getting the, the first scoop of. You know, we haven't really even announced that we're doing the record, you know, mm-hmm. because, uh, you know, we still have a new record to tell, you know, yep. but you got to prepare for the next year. That's and, right. like, with us, there's a little bit more demand than there's been in past years, so the label that we have, SPV Records, they want a new album, and it's it's a good thing, mm-hmm. you know, that they're they're that supportive and, you know, fired up for a new record. And the other thing is, it's, it's good for us as a band to be able to show people that we can, which a lot of bands don't do this anymore, but doing records back-to-back, like, you know, two years in a row. You know, this is the second record that we've got coming up. Yep, that's uh, sweet. But like I said, but like I said, the, the the last record, Immortal Legacy, is still pretty new itself. So that's still getting out there. People are still getting turned on to the record. Um, you know, and then I'm also lucky because I got a really good band. I got the Harrison Brothers, and we got a drummer named Mike um, Vega. So like, it's just we got a good vibe in the band, and even working on the new record right now is awesome because you know we're real hungry to create something really special for the fans. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going to get this new record done. We're still supporting the last record, Immortal Legacy, with SPV Records. And then uh, basically it'll be a lot of touring. And uh, there's a new video coming up for Hellion Rising. And and then, like I said, back out on the road, because that's really where all the magic happens. And, uh, you know, we also get to play in front of a lot of new audiences. I mean, the band is pretty known, but there's still a lot of countries that we're still traveling to for the first time. So, you know, we're still winning over fans. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really great challenge for us as a band because we're having fun, but at the same time, we're you know, we're out there working and we're busting our tails. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did a, a tour recently in Europe where we played 22 shows in 22 days. Wow. And that's not really, that's not that easy to do nope. when you're traveling by tour bus and you're, you know, you're every night after you play, you get back on the tour bus and you're heading to the next city to play, you know? So, uh, you know, the band's still very hungry, uh, real fired up to do the new record. And, you know, a good a good uh, example of where we're heading with the new record is when you start writing, like for us, the first song that you write really is a good indication of where the album's going. Mm-hmm. And the first song we wrote for this record is awesome. So... I think if we can keep it at that level, we're going to have a stellar record, you know. And the work's going to be there because we really want to make our fans proud. So, you know, get ready for 2015. And before you know it, 2014 is going to be gone. It's going by quick, you know. I hear you on that. Uh, Well, well, Kate, how can people get a hold of your music and your catalog? Well, the best way to do it is obviously, uh, you know, First and foremost, check out the record stores if there's one by you, because mm-hmm. if they carry heavy music, they should carry high racks. But if they don't, then ask them about it, you know, because that's what's the greatest thing with our fans is they're, they're still out there spreading the word of our music, asking record stores and radio stations and, you know, people that are involved in the industry to, you know, either check out the music, carry the music, and support the music. Or order it the most. Yeah, or you can order direct through our website, hyrax.org. You can go there. And then also just on the internet, like for downloads, obviously we're on iTunes and uh, our whole catalog's on there. So people can go there and do that. But I I do suggest still searching out, you know, CDs and especially vinyl because they sound great. They look great. And it's a, it's a time, it takes you back to a different time and place when you pull out a record and yes, it take it out of a sleeve and put it on a turntable. You know, so I think that that experience that we provide, because we're, we're one of those bands that never stopped pressing vinyl we've been making vinyl ever since we, we started releasing records till today we still press vinyl you know mm-hmm. so uh you know we just want to give people options you know they should have the option to buy whatever format of music they they like you know so that's what we're doing and we just want to say also thanks to all the fans uh i've got the, my guitar player lancer he's going to say hello real quick sure what's up guys? Hey, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> he's a man of a lot of words <laughs> but uh yeah, you know, hello to everybody listening, and we'll see everybody out on tour coming up in 2015. Keep an eye out for the new album, Mortal Legacy, and be, you know, remember one thing, it's all about heavy metal. That's right. Caton, can you do us um, a quick favor? Yeah, what's that? Can you do a promo ID for us? 
Okay, what's the station ho- whole ID again? It's maximum threshold. Straight like that? Yep. Nothing else? No, it's, uh, that's good enough. All right. Here we go. You are listening to maximum threshold. Or threshold? Yes. Make sure you say your make sure you say your name. Okay. So here we go. Hello, this is Kate from Hyrax and you are listening to Maximum Threshold. Play the metal loud and remember thrash till death. Perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Thanks. I've had a couple of beers, so that might might be why I had a couple of stumbles in the beginning. Oh, that's all right. That's cool. <laughs> that was perfect. It is, it is it is Saturday night. Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, Kate and hey, I want to thank you again for being on here and just getting us updated with everything that's going on with you and the band and everything. And Lance. I, uh, I want to say something. I really appreciate it because, no uh, you know, you, you're one of the guys that actually really does keep your ear to the grindstone and, you you know, you're checking in with us, which mm-hmm. is actually a really good time to be doing that. So thank you for the support. No problem. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Well, awesome. And, hey, uh, I, wanted to, I don't know if I got to tell you this, but one thing I forgot is uh, – we're actually doing a really special limited thing, mm-hmm. and I'll get you a copy because you're one of the – well, you're the first interview I've done since we figured this out. But we're doing a four-song demo just like we did in the early days. Oh, sweet, yeah. Really rare. The first pressing, there's going to be 400 of them, mm-hmm. and they're going to be they're going to be only on cassette. That's what's oh, rad wow. about it. Like, we're not giving it out any other way. Like, cool. people can make them in it. They can make them into MP3s off the cassette mm-hmm. if they want, but we're only doing it on cassette to demo. Nice. And That's it's coming cool. with a poster and a patch. So oh, what wow. I'll do is I'll make sure you get one. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Because I don't have a CD player in my car, just tape deck. <laughs> That's rad. Well, the thing is, you can, if you want, you can make it, you know, take it to um, MP3s. But mm-hmm. we're doing it the old school way because yep. we want to make people work for the music. That's I right. think it's a really great idea because nobody's really done Mm-mm. a demo tape in years. So it's going to be right. four, four brand new unreleased new songs. Sounds good, man. I, yeah, I'll shoot you over our, my info and all that in a little bit. Please do. Send, send me your uh, mailing address. Yeah, I will do that. As soon as you can, brother. I will do that. Well, listen, you have a great, great weekend and a killer Saturday night, okay? Oh, thank you. You do the same there. All right, brother. We'll talk soon. Sounds good, man. All right, man. Bye-bye. Bye. And there you have it. And here's a little Hyrex for you for the people who aren't really up to speed with them. I'm going to throw them back some old school stuff for you. Here's some Walk With Death here at Maximum Threshold Radio. And, Kate, and I want to thank you again for being on the show here. And all i got to say is horns up, fist in the air. And that was Hyrex with Walk With Death. Death here on Max on Threshold Radio. And once again, I want to thank Caton for calling in the show here and getting us up to speed with everything high racks. Oh, hey, man, I just want to throw you this out here. I got some um, brand new swirl for you. Um, some good stuff, man. This is Rise Up here on Max on Threshold Radio. And we're going to be getting um, DT on the show here. Um, I think we're working on this for next week. I'm not sure. I got to work out the details with him. But, yeah, there's some new stuff for you, man. And if you're not familiar with Swirl, let's just say they're one of the hardest working bands out there. And great guys, man. And they definitely, definitely are really, really damn good. So, here you go, man. This is, is Rise Up by Swirl here on Maxim Threshold Radio. Be back after this. Horns up. Fist in the air. Your boots, you got your suits, the attitude from the outside. All right, ladies. House on a hill, another shot, another pill. Do whatever it takes just to make it through the day. Getting cuffed in gold, you can buy, you can sell. Get the plane for the money you slay. Sometimes we fall.
you go, that will swirl with Rise Up here on Maximum Threshold Radio. And once again, I want to throw put this out there, man. You guys go check them out. Go on Facebook.com slash Swirl the Band. That's Swirl. They also got some things going on there on their website there, man. Um, yep, they have um, some stuff going on. They want you to help them on this little project they got going on. <sighs> so check it out, man. Swirl. It's Swirl the Band on Facebook.com. So it's Facebook.com slash Swirl the Band. So I'm out of here for this week, but, man, I want to thank everybody for being on the show here. I uh, definitely want to thank Allie, Allie Jorgen from La Reverie. Uh, I did, and I did a flashback interview with Daisy De La Hoya, and just got done hearing Kate and DePena here on Maximum Threshold Radio. I want to say it's great to be back on here talking to you guys, letting you know what's going on, and be having the opportunity to help promote these guys and uh, these these people, <laughs> persons. And I just want to say, man, it's all in the name of love and music. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next week. Um, rock on, horns up, fist in the air. See you guys next week. Adios, amigos. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to the Maxim Threshold Radio Show. Maxim Threshold Radio Show comes at you live every Saturday night from 8 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not only here on MaximumThreshold.net, but also on all of its other lovely affiliates. However, if you get a chance to check out Max and Threshold, we greatly appreciate you listening to the show and the program. Don't forget, you can also catch us also on iTunes. You can catch us also on our website for downloading at maxandthreshold.net. Uh, there's many different ways you can catch the Max and Threshold radio show for downloading. Uh, you can also Google Max and Threshold and you come to all kinds of different other avenues to download the show. So anyway, you can get the show and you can listen to it. I no, would really appreciate it. Like I said, you can catch us on iTunes. Just do a search for Maximum Threshold and you will find us. Thank you again for tuning into the Maximum Threshold radio show. The only station to make your ears bleed in a good way.